First of all, how did your collaboration happen? Because you're from Denmark and you guys are from Germany. So how did you find each other? You want you want to say, tell the story? No, I can <laughs> I can tell the story. Actually, actually, we were uh, starting the um, uh, this album, uh, uh, the Book of Nature, and we were looking for uh, singers that inspires us. Um, and then we found Amanda on the internet, and she just blew us away. And uh, we said we, we gotta get her to Berlin. So we contacted contacted her on Facebook. And one month later, she was in the studio, and we were like, "Oh no, we should write a song." Um, how are you? And you know, it was a bit com uncomfortable in the beginning because uh, writing songs is a very intimate thing, and uh, you know, we, uh, yeah, but we did it. <laughs> how did it feel for you with these two guys from Germany all of a sudden contacted you? Uh, <laughs> I was so so happy. <laughs> no, glad to say. <laughs> no, well, I was I was so excited and. Uh, and the end of, of the magic that's not the universal music, so I kind of knew that it wasn't some uh, foolish guy who was yeah. writing to me. <laughs> yeah, we, 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 we had to, to include the, the, the record company that you know, we are recording it for, uh, just so she sees that it's not a, like a crazy German stalker. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Germans can be crazy, you know? Uh, you know? Yeah, for sure. Uh, try to take over the world like two times in history. <laughs> We would just so your songs you have you're singing for this Eurovision is called Frozen Silence and Mother Earth. Why did you choose those two songs to be in the Eurovision? Uh, to be quite honest, honest, uh, the uh, Frozen Silence song is, is our first single, and uh, we got you know really good uh, feedback on this song. So we it was a no-brainer to to choose that song because we ask a lot of friends and people from the record company, and everybody says this this song they they love it. So that was kind of a no-brainer, and, and Mother Earth is, is a song that, that's really special to us because it's the first song that we wrote for the album, The Book of Nature. And so that's a kind of a, yeah, we have a, have close, a close relationship to that song as well. And Amanda, she is just awesome in singing them, so... Yes. Yeah. Awesome! Yeah, you're awesome! <laughs> Oh, stop it, yeah. <laughs> Can we edit that out? <laughs> <laughs> We're not. You just had your first rehearsal. How did you think it went? Uh, well, in the start, it, it, it's always it's difficult when, when something new is, is about to happen. And uh, and this is very, it's a long time since I tried this. Uh, I guess last time was, was on Age Lecture. So, uh, yeah, I just have to get used to it. I, I think so. But... Um, after the rehearsals tomorrow and everything, I think it's it's gonna f float into a, <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> you know, I think come we know. Yes. Yeah, and I think time will pass really quickly. You know, it's like yeah. it will be it will be over before we know it. It yeah. began uh, when when the actual yeah. uh, gig happens. Mm. So we have just watched the whole staging, but the people who watch this interview have not. So can you tell us a little bit about how the staging is gonna be? I think Aries is better at telling that because he's better at English. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Andreas can do that. <laughs> well, no, we're, yeah, we're trying to make to make 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 it special, especially for Frozen Silence. We're, we're trying to to bring you know this nature and this um, yeah bring nature on stage, but more in an artistic way, not not like just um, you know. Um, yeah, putting some trees on there, you know, the, and, and, and some snow from, from, from the ceiling. But, you know, it's, it's more an artistic approach. And so we uh, decided for some interesting lighting and some, some dances from, you know, from the classical ballet. And, uh, yeah, we think it looks, it looks good so far, I think. I agree. Yeah, oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> um, a lot of Eurovision artists, they actually do this thing where they make their songs in different languages. And now I was thinking Amanda sings in Danish, so can you imagine ever doing this song in Danish? No. Okay, once, once, maybe once Frozen Silence. Cut still hold, so I edit it. No, cut still hold. Can you sing that? Frozen still hold. Frozen still hold. Frozen still hold. It doesn't work. What do you think? Not really. No, it's kind of awkward. It sounds very hard. Yeah, like the German language. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. The English version is the best, I think. I think so, too. <laughs> so, tomorrow you can actually win. There's a possibility. Have you thought about who you would call as the first person if you won? <laughs> <laughs> I know what you said. Hi, Mom. Say hey, Mom. Um, my mom, I guess. But, but she will be in the crowd, so I guess I'm just going to shout and say, Hey, Mom! <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that, of course. Um... <laughs> Not really. I think I'm just gonna enjoy it with the people here. It's it's our journey, so I think we're just gonna 
You two are not gonna call anyone. I think. <laughs> yeah, later we will. We will call many people. Later, later, I, think, later. I think many people will call us, maybe, or yeah. give or, or write some messages, and we will respond yeah. to that. But but in this situation, you 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 know you know it's like another world, and it's yeah. it's hard to yeah. to um to you know to pull yourself away from from this spectacle actually so it's uh, I think it will go on and we will kind of I don't know be high get high <laughs> don't no. no don't run <laughs> don't get crazy drunk. Germans yeah. no maybe get drunk <laughs> no sure oh, so. okay so the show is all ready tomorrow have you started to get nervous or are you excited or how do you feel I'm really excited yeah. <laughs> and nervous and nervous but uh, after the soundtrack it's okay mm. Uh, for me, I don't know how, how about you, but um, with me, it, it comes in waves, like little, you know, like, um, oh, I'm really relaxed, and then all of a sudden, like, oh, oh what am I doing here, you know? And I think the, you know, this, those waves are getting, you know, sh the shorter and shorter, the time, the time when they come, so, yeah. yeah. I think for me, there's just so many things that I am thinking about, so it's... I think it's kind of ticked all the nerves actually because when I when I got to the stage and, and I was sitting in a journalist and everything and I had to remember which camera and how to move my arm and how to stand and to be straight and remember the lyrics and the song and everything and the dances so suddenly I just kind of forget all, all of these nerves and, yeah. <laughs> and stuff but but that's why you have to like take a deep breath and, and enjoy it. I think <laughs> we are from Denmark, and we know you worked with another Danish singer on your album, yeah. in Little Forest. How was it working with her? Oh, it was it was was it was a great experience. Actually, we she she was in a, at our studio um, in I think last year in summer, and she's a, she's a real professional. So she um, she's really focused when it comes to 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 you know to singing and how she wants to perform it. And but she's really good at. Um, Adapting, you know, when we want to uh, try something uh, out, out, trying out something different, and she really, you know, understands what what, what we are getting at, and uh, she's yeah, she and she's and she's a nice person actually. <laughs> It's good to hear. <laughs> you like working with Danish singers, it seems. <laughs> Could you ever imagine being in the Danish national final, maybe? Yeah, maybe next year. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, then I will produce the music in ten years. <laughs> oh, we gotta fuck it up big time. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, sure. Uh, but, but actually, you know, it's uh, to us, it's kind of a. Um, I don't know. It's it's. Um, we didn't plan on on you know uh, working with Danish singers per se. You know, it just happened. Uh, but maybe maybe there's a lot of talent in D in Denmark. Maybe it's it's, it's about that. So um, and we like this. You know, in general, the Scandinavian. Singers, you know, and, and the style, and, and um, yeah, yeah. So maybe next. Two of the uh, last three singers come from uh, uh, the Scandinavia. Mm. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Emily DeForest and uh, Lorraine. Uh, Lorraine. That's a winning thing, yeah. maybe. <laughs> After this whole Eurovision thing is over, do you imagine you will still work together? Oh, absolutely. So. Um, Hopefully, I, I, I would <laughs> love to. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, the album "The Book of Nature" is out since uh, February, um, and if it if it yeah if it goes really well, so then we really plan on uh, continuing the the journey, definitely. Amanda, you were in the Danish X Factor a couple of years ago. <laughs> Do you think you, you we didn't? Know. <laughs> Do you think the things you learned back then are, are things you can use in this experience? Yeah, yeah, totally. Because you know, with the monitors, for example, for example, if I if I hadn't got to the X factor, I didn't. I would like, what the hell is this? <laughs> 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 uh, is this and everything, and with the journalist and everything, and we had some coaching uh, in all the interviews, so you know how to answer and all, so you don't say something stupid or anything like that. So I think that uh, that it, it's very very good that I had that experience back then. Uh, so now I'm a bit more trained in doing all of these things. And I think it's it's important to be because otherwise I think you get very confused and lose yourself a bit. So yeah, definitely I think that X Factor has, has helped me a lot. <laughs> so did you guys ever watch Eurovision before in the previous years? <laughs> oh, absolutely, yeah, yeah. So we're, yeah, we're, we're Eurovision fans. And we like how it, you know, how it evolved, and you know, got more and more diverse. 
um, with the different music styles. You know, it's not you know not like in the in the 70s. You know, only chanson, schlager, and how you call it. Um, but yeah, these days it's 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 there's you still have these uh, these music styles. But you know, any any music style can win these days. You know, it, if you know, be it uh, hard rock or um, or a singing girl with a beard. You know, it can or be any music or like dance music. Like yeah, like dance music, like Lorene, which which was very modern. So um, uh, we like to together, you know, with friends and um, yeah, and bet on the different candidates and try to uh, find out, you know, who wins and yeah, always bet on the wrong person, <laughs> the, the wrong artist. It was kind of, it's, it's always kind of fun. It's it's also a social a social happening for us a lot a lot of times. Are there any, any songs you liked that have been in the Eurovision the previous years? Hmm? Maybe some Danish songs? Some Danish songs. <laughs> fly on the wings of love. <laughs> fly, baby, fly. They do a little like, wing, wing. <laughs> a little like Kermit, you know? <laughs> fly, baby, fly. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> no, but, but they, were, they were kind of really, really relaxed guys. And I, I think they, it, it, it was on the radio back then, you know? You yeah. know, all across Germany. So. Oh, very young. I don't remember. No. <laughs> oh, oh, when, when was it? It was like two thousand. Maybe around yeah, two thousand. Yeah, about yeah. Ten years ago. About, yeah, ten ten years years ago. ago. I don't remember. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but Lorene is, a, is was a killer song. So yeah. it's still it's still it's still a huge song, huge song. And but of course uh, Finland. But Lordy. Yes. <laughs> I totally remember my, me and my sister and my mom singing back at, uh, at home in our couch. I was like, oh, they're never gonna win. <laughs> Even though it could be funny to, to send a vote. Yeah. And then we did, and I think all all did like yeah. that. But they never win, but uh, they could just get a vote from me also. And <laughs> they won. So you see, yeah. always wrong. She already knew. Yeah, and always wrong, on, you know, with betting on. on so, what kind of music do you listen to at home, and what do you have any idols, maybe? Maybe it's M83 or London Grammar, and, and yeah, that, that, that sounds for me good. And, and the 80s music, I, I hear very well. I, I think it differs a lot from the situation. I, I like to hear all kinds of music and like uh, expand my, my music horizons and everything. So. I also like to yeah. I also like to listen to classical music sometimes, or some you know film scores and stuff like that. And um, yeah, and then just different songs you know that I like. So I'm not really you know I'm really diverse when it comes to music taste. You're not uh, making music and singing on stages. What do you like to do? Do you have any hobbies? No. Oh, I, oh. <laughs> no. I, <laughs> I All like, I ever do is music, like music. I like watching movies. I'm a, I'm a big movie fan. You know, I like to, to watch movies. I could I could do it. You know, the whole day if I w I wasn't working. You know, and uh, that's boring. <laughs> oh come on, that's not boring. I like watching movies. There are good movies out there. You know? Do you have any favorite you can recommend? Um, not Lars von Trier. <laughs> And we spoke this, this morning yeah. about about it. <laughs> Strange guy. Um, favorites. Um, yeah. Um, the, um, uh, how, how is this? How, how is what? What is this, uh, this? This movie called with, with Jim Carrey and Kate Winslet? The with um, uh, the eternal eternal sunshine on the spotless mind. It's a great one. Come watch that. I'll I'll do that. It's a great one. A great one. Before you go on stage, do you have anything you do to bring you luck or a lucky charm? We need to come up with something so we can... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Take a deep breath. <laughs> yeah. uh, speak Danish. Ja, <laughs> Fjallapa. <laughs> it always cracks her up when I... This is a good little show. Ja, so is it toy or not? Hello. Ah, we have it there. Hey. That's okay. No. I think uh, Andreas is flirting a bit with the camera and uh, putting some makeup on. And I'm, like, I'm, I'm putting joking a lot, around, lots of makeup. teaching Eric <laughs> Danish jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I, I, walk, I walk around, you know, from, from, from left. To, I walk around from left to right like a tiger yeah. in a, in yeah, a cage, yeah. a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah I gotta, I gotta do something like this and this, and I get all the time. I gotta, I gotta be moving <laughs> for some reason. Yeah.
Keep okay. on, keep on. <laughs> In the end, do you have a message for your fans and the readers of a side? Yeah, sure. Dein lecker Quinne. <laughs> was it good? Yeah, it was fine. But <laughs> I think you should say the other thing now. Okay. Um, yeah, for all of us. It's it's kind of good. Thank you very much and good luck tomorrow. Oh, thank you very much. Vielen Dank. Vielen Dank. Vielen Dank. <laughs>